This screencast is going to talk about the divisibility rules of 5 and 10. So looking at a number and knowing whether it can be divided by 5 or divided by 10. Once again, these are pretty simple rules as well. You just kind of need to look at the number that's in the ones place, and that's going to help you figure out whether or not a number is divisible by 5 or 10. So in the rule for 5, the number has to end in a 0 or 5. So for example, the number 7,765 would be divisible by 5 because it ends with a 5. The divisibility rule for 10 is actually a little simpler because the number has to end in a 0. It can't end in any other number. So for example, the number 10,710 would be divisible by 10 because it has a 0 in the ones place. can't have any other number besides a 0. So let's take a look at our first example, and we're going to go through here and say whether a number is divisible by 5 and or 10, because you may have some overlap, because looking back at the rules for 5 and 10, you'll notice that with a 5, it has to end in a 0, and with a 10, it has to end in a 0. So you have two choices there. So let's take a look at the number 525. We're looking at the number that is in the ones place and that is a 5. So if we think about our divisibility rule for 5, the number has to end in either a 5 or a 10. Well, it does end in a 5, so it is divisible by 5. Now let's think about our rule for 10. Our rule for 10 states that a divisibility or a number is divisible by 10 if it ends in a 0. Well, this is definitely not a 0 because it's a 5, so in this case it would not be divisible by 10. Taking a look at 663, so once again, is it divisible by 5? Is it divisible by 10? Let's think of our rules for 5. Number in the ones place has to be a 5 or a 0. Well, that's not the case in this number, so it's not divisible by 5. Taking a look at the number for 10 has to end in a 0. That 3 is not a 0, so in this case, neither 5 or 10 would go into 663. Let's take a look at the number 7,270. Once again, we're looking at the number in the ones place. So we're thinking about 5 or 10. It ends in a 0, so that would be true for 5. 5 can go into 7,270 because it ends in a 0. And it also can be divided by 10 because it ends in 0 as well. So remember the rules for 5 and 10 somewhat overlap because they both share that rule of ending in zero. Let's take a look at one more example, 1,223,767. We wanna look at the number that is in the ones place, and that is a seven. So thinking about our divisibility rules for five and 10, does this number end in a zero or five? That's the rule for five. The answer would be no. And does the number end in a zero? That's the rule for 10. Once again, the answer is no, so in this case, this number would not be divisible by 5 or 10. So just to wrap up, divisible, if a number is divisible by 5, remember it has to end in a 0 or 5. So here are three examples. You have a 5 in the ones place, a 0 in the ones place, and a 5 in the ones place. The only two numbers that can be in the ones place are a 0 or a 5. For 10, it's a little bit simplified. It has to end in a zero. So if a number ends in a zero, it is divisible by 10.